All right, it's time to beat Ratnor Rodenson in Tales of Iron. I think I'll ignore that zombie rat. Put some poison on my blade. White attack means block. Then dodge forward. He'll leap back. Then hit him from behind. Be careful of the electricity from the roof. Back away from him and shoot arrows from safety for the last electricity bolt. Dodge through the red attack. And again. And some hits. And again. White attack hold block. Dodge through him. Honestly, I don't think that poison's really doing anything. Alright, I want to be right in the middle at the start of phase two. Hold block. Wait for minions to do red attacks. Dodge through them. A charged heavy knocks these guys down, which is helpful. Get away from that red attack. Block. Parry. I was lucky that was yellow and not a red attack. It is random what these guys will do, which makes this the hardest part to deal with. The main aim here, though, is to keep minions between you and the boss, as his electricity attack will one-shot them just like that. Got to quickly get behind him, so as to avoid that throwing attack. Now the minions are gone. This is pretty much like phase one, except he'll do a bunch of electricity attacks fairly frequently. There he goes. Just need to watch out for where the electricity is coming down from. Back off the first time he goes down, because electricity comes down on him, usually. Block the white attack. Wait for him to leap. No, he's not going to. He's going to do another electricity attack. Again, comes down on him. I could have just shot him with arrows there and he probably would have died. But he's dead anyway. That's the end of Ratnar Rodenson. A helmet. Good defense, but I like lightweight, so that's too heavy for me. And Thor's hammer is a kick-ass one-handed weapon. I'm equipping that straight away. And I'll just store that. That's a pretty hard fight. There's a lot to do in it. The hardest part is the start of phase two. My strat is to be in the middle when I trigger phase two, hold block and wait to dodge through the minion's first red attacks. I found that gives me the best chance then to reposition and either take out one of the minions or hopefully have the boss do it for me. But there's a bit of randomness there, so it's not easy to do, especially if you're trying to go flawless. But even if you're not, this one's a real challenge. Anyway, I'm Fuzzy Barbarian. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.